fish house I've turned all the air pumps off uh, we're gonna have a look today at the Deutz Achievers yes some weird and wonderful that come from uh, Adam by Koi farm and some of these are absolutely beautiful uh, a few of them have already been reserved I will show you them ones as well they're all in the bowl at the same time they all came from the same spawning and yet they are all as normal growing at different rates and I've got different patterns and so forth and so on so without further ado that looked really silly then yeah won't do that again I'll spin you round and we'll have a look so here we are I have to hold this in my left hand hopefully I don't drop it so first things first we'll go through the ones that uh, are going nowhere because they, they've they been reserved or for whichever reason and the first one will be this one this one this one was actually picked out by both Adam and Amanda get off the net you you really really pale color into him has got some lovely oh where are you going come back here Maybe I should have brought the rectangle bowl in. But very unusual on the marking side. It's more the colour I'm interested in as that grows and progresses. So, yeah, that one's not going anywhere. That one's going to be a cracker. Then we got this one. This one I think is going to be actually a Deutz Magoi. But this one's been reserved. This one's going to my man Ads, uh, Ads Koi. If you don't know Ads and Ads Koi, I will try and get a link in the description and uh, check his channel out. He started a rebuild of his pond. But yeah, this is the, the second biggest grower out of the Deutz Achievers. So there you go, Ads. Almost as big as my pan that mate. And we've got this one here. This one's gonna be a beautiful achiever. This one is going out to my good friend, very good friend, Andy at Derby Coy. So you go, brother. There's your Deutz Achiever. The symmetry on it is just sublime. So yeah. As I usually say, if you don't know who Andy is, you've been living under a rock. If not, go across to his channel and say, I've just seen your Deutz Achiever. It looks lovely. So that's that one. And the last one on the reserve list is this one and this one this Deutz Achiever will be going out to my man Gaz from come back here you little shit well, I'm going to have to swap hands a second Crank. right so where were we yes come here right as I was saying this one here, you little shit Right, now stay in the goddamn net. This one here is going out to Gaz's Koi Pond. If you don't know who Gaz is, get your ass to his channel and tell him Vincent Twisted Koi sent you and you've seen his Deutz Achiever and it looks spanking. Actually looks like it's had paintbrush strokes down its side. But there you go, my mucker. Hang on, folks. I'm going to have to put this phone down and rearrange my hands. Two seconds. 
No, I'm just going to have to battle on with my phone in my left hand. If I hang on, I'll make it easier. Turn that off for a second. Turn that off a second. There we go. This one's going to be a very big fish. Get out the net, you. Another, another beautiful fish. This will lighten up. What you've got to remember is I am sat uh, around 24 degrees temperature in here. So the browns will lighten up when they go into a slightly cooler temperature. But he's got a beautiful pattern down one side. I wonder if I can get round doing. Come round here, you little shit. There you go. You see Beautiful grey pattern in on him down the side there. Once that, once he gets bigger and that starts to spread out a bit, he's going to be a beautiful fish. Absolutely cracking. And like I say, he's huge. We've got another symmetrical-ish one. He's got like a reverse... A reverse tancho on it, so he's got like a a grey patch in the middle of his head. He's got a lovely grey line going all the way down his side. It's almost olive greeny colour, like the sort of colour you'd get on a tench. Absolutely mad. Really beautiful, and I do like my weird and wonderful ones. Here you go, there's a better shot. Now, I don't usually go for Deutsch fish with big armored scales, but this one just jumped out at me because of the symmetry of the scaling. So once it gets into a pond and starts lightening up, that pattern will become more and more apparent then. Yeah. He's going to be another cracking fish. And then we come to the really, the really weird and wonderful. This came from the same spawning. It's got no scales on it at all. I don't even think there is any down the zipper, not that I can see. But again, once 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 it starts developing some size, spin round your little shit. There you go. No, that's better. Once he gets a bit of size on him, that pattern's going to come into its own. But just be really nice to see how that one turns out. Because it's so unusual, we do have another one like that. This one here is, is more symmetrical in its pattern. and It, it is almost perfectly symmetrical. Again, I'm honestly unsure on how this is going to develop as it grows. But it is still, in my eyes, a really, really beautiful fish. And it's going to be a real cracker once, once the progression starts. And then you've got this one. This one is really weird. It's like a... It's like a bluey... I'm fucked if I know what happened there. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let these settle down for a little while. And while it's not raining, I'm going to go and get on and get some slabbing laid for the bench. And what I will do is I will put that one into the bowl along with the Asagi and the Akamatsubas that are in here later on. So we'll come back to the growing on tank a bit later. All right, for now, I'm going to go and make a cup of tea and then I'm going to get a mix made, which hopefully should get me a few layers done on there for the seat. So then that can go off and I can start backfilling it with soil because I've been instructed by Stu from Surrey Koi not to use building sand to render this. I've got to get plaster in sand. And the only reason this hasn't cracked is because I used sharp sand. Don't ask me. I don't know. I'm not a builder. Yeah, we're doing well. And by the time I've finished, there's going to be loads of bits of pipe. It's going to be free to be uh, collected if anyone's got a use for it. If not, it'll go in the skip. So on that note, I'm going to put you lot down and I will catch you later on. Well, here we go, cupcakes. There's another bag of sand used up. I'm going to need at least another two, possibly three. But as soon as this has gone off, tomorrow or maybe Saturday, I can start putting some soil in it to really solidify it up. As you can see, I've gone around the front with the paintbrush and smoothed it all off as best as I could. And as I say, I'm just cleaning up the rubbish, but look how big this garden started to look. The old uh, pile of blocks is starting to go down. So, yeah, doing well. Well, I think I'm doing well anyway. So, yeah. So, I've still got daylight. So, I'm going to go have a whiz. Roll of smoke. And then I'm going to get the chop saw out. So, we can start getting some decking around the front of there back later bloody battery died in the angle uh, near the angle grinder fucking old Vincent in the uh, cordless screwdriver but I've made a start so yeah and then what I'll do is I'll actually uh, line the window so then I can get any gaps filled. So I'm going to concentrate on getting these two bits to three bits cut because I want them mitered at the bottom. But like I say, I've got plenty of decking anyway. Well, I'm wrecking that joint again. So yeah. Cracking along, won't be long, and I'm thinking about using the slabs to go on top and then just literally cut them to the shape on the inside of my triangles. So yeah, I just thought I'd give you a, a little bit of a look before the light goes completely. Fishes are doing all right. We're sitting at about 7.4 at the moment. But yeah, I'm, I'm pleased with that. And then what I'm going to do is on this side, once I've got pipe work finished, that will go along there, but it will go butt up against reckon the fucking joint again the wood's gonna butt right up against here not over the top with a gap and I've got to get a bigger screw up in the corner up there wind caught hold of it the other night so 
get a bigger screw slammed down in there in a bit. But yeah, I thought I'd like to say I thought I'd let you have a look before it got too dark. Move this over a second. So like I say, the base of the bench is in. We're rocking along. Slowly but surely. A lot of you out there probably have most of this done already. But I ain't as supple as I used to be. <laughs> oh look, they've all come up to say hello, look. Hello darlings, I'm sorry but you ain't getting nothing. You ain't getting nothing at all. Here you go Chris. And we've got uh, Katrina and Dave Hodgson are coming up the weekend. They're going to pick up their Goshki, the Goromo, and Pussy Chag. So he won't be with us long, but like I say, before... In fact, no, I, what I'll do is I'll wait till I have to bowl him to bag him, and then I'll give you a proper look at him while he's in, in the bowl. But yeah, everyone else seems to be doing all right. So... Yeah, I'm going to get a couple of more bits cut, so at least then once the uh, the drill's ready, I can get that bit done. So, but I'm also running out of screws and uh, rule plugs at the moment. So yeah, I'm doing a real, real clean up of all my crap at the moment. But once it's all painted with some black Santex, then it will look sweet as a nut. But on that note, guys, I've rambled and flapped me gums and waffled enough. I'm going to chop a bit more wood while I've got the light. I know I'm going to end up putting the the outside, the hanging light up inside again. So, uh, yeah, I'll catch you back in a bit, guys. Good evening, my little twinkles. Yes, I'm back. And I've all tidied up and put away and everything because Susan's come out and given me my orders. Uh, well, go in done too much so I'm going in but not before I show you what I've done <laughs> okay so I will spin you around and we'll have a mooch so as we look at the pond itself the front of the pond is practically clear now one of my boys water cans there and a bag full of black bin bags and the plant that will be one of the jobs next week I think because I'm going to be taking a load of flint out of the filter bay on the front pond and I'm going to replace it with Alpha Krog, and this is going to be put in as well because apparently it grows voraciously, so it will look good and it will hide the bay window, which I don't like anyway. It's a pointless fucking thing. It's not like you can sit in it properly or anything, it's just stuck there. But fishes are all doing well. But like I said, we're looking all nice and clean and tidy. Look. The slabs are going down. I chucked all the four inch pipe over there for the minute. I say tomorrow when that's gone off, I'll get some bags of soil back in and I'll start breaking it up and backfilling in there. I'm ready for my next lot of mortar when I can get some sand. But I've got, I'm going to have to put the flash on a second. There we go. But as you can see, I've been busy with the chop saw. I've got this side almost done. That side I've got. I've got three bits cut, ready to go. There you go, give you an idea and the frame for the window is going to be made inside with the, the, the render. So yeah, pretty happy with that. Well please, that slab's out because I've got to mark that out to cut it to go down there because I'm going to have to pull these two bits up and put a few bricks in there to hold it. I was going to cut it at an angle, but I'm, fuck it. 
if people cl clap, 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 clap their anchor on it, they should have watched where they're fucking going. But, yeah, really pleased with myself today. So, guys and girls, until I see you again, I will catch you all on the next one.